Okay, so as promised, we're going to continue and I'm going to show you something worthwhile seeing. And contrary to popular beliefs, engineers can actually get their hands dirty, so I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, critical element done. Now, watch as I require two hands to undo this. Brilliant. Okay. Nothing like a piece of impromptu genius. So, we appear to be ready to go. What I'm going to do is fire it up, take a look at the watch, and get some idea of the power consumption. I'm going to start it on 10 seconds past, which would be right now, and juice it up to 12 volts, or, you know, recommended spec, about 12 and a half volts there. Seems to be going nicely, pumping water. Let's get a better look at that. That's really a lovely piece of kit. And a surprisingly effective pump. I'm really very pleased with it for the $25 or so I paid for the pump. Water's going down nicely. And we've got good flow. Power consumption at 12 volts. Obviously it's fluctuating a bit, which makes the reading of it almost completely impossible. So we're going to state this is an arbitrary current average between 1.5 and, and 3 amps, which of course equals about 2.25 amps at 12 volts. So that would be... Hmm, what would you say, about 30 watts? A little under 30 watts, maybe 25 watts. So, this is not going to get too tedious, I hope. That bucket is emptying quite quickly. So, Let's have a look at this other pump up here in the meantime. This guy, 18 watts. So, we're going to get this water out as low as it can in the other bucket. This is all completely arbitrary, of course. I suspect we're going to pump about 50 litres of water because you can't quite get to the bottom of the other tub. And that would be the case for all the pumps, actually, so that's probably about right. Um, so I'm going to say all the measurements are going to be within 20 or 30 percent. Um, so yeah, not particularly accurate. And as we come up to 55 seconds, eight looking pretty good. So, and the reason why it doesn't matter that it's only about 30 percent off on the accuracy is because, as I said, I expect the other pump to be quite obviously more efficient. Um, hopefully as much as 10 times. And with a bit of development, uh, a bit of money, and um, probably a small quantity of extra genius, you know, we might well get 20 times more efficient. Uh, but it's probably best not to mention that at this point, because obviously then it will become it's very obvious that this pump should probably replace even the current pendulum pumps that are in operation pumping oil around the state. You've probably seen them with tumbleweeds flying across in front of them. Huge old fine mongering machines. They're really very impressive to see. Um, but the one I'm talking about will be even better. There we go, two minutes. And we've pumped, I'll probably say about half the water. A little over half the water. Two minutes at about 25 watts of power. So, naturally I'm going to go back and do the math on that. Um, at least I'm going to do the arithmetic with 100% accuracy. There's no point getting that off of the world. Um, it's probably best to keep all the measurements a little shabby at this point. After all, I'm fully expecting someone to want to spend a lot of money on measuring this properly uh, at some stage down the track. Um, so I made sure for that very reason that I unscrewed my vice a little bit so we've got a bit of play there which should help in not imploding the whole notion so what are we up to? 5 seconds away from 3 minutes and the tub is very nearly empty we're not going to get too many more tubs out of that one 
Um, the efficiency of the motor hasn't really changed much, it's still fluctuating between 1.5 and 3 amps. So for the sake of the math, I'm going to call that 2.25 amps at 12.3 volts. Um, and then I'm going to be able to compare it to all manner of other pumps on the market since that's a fairly important element. And there we go, it's just started sucking on the air. So, I'm going to juice this down, turn it off, swap my buckets around, and now try a small conventional electric pump. And I'll let you know shortly how they compare. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> 